Hello everyone, welcome to Rybrook Land Rover in Huddersfield. Today we've got a Freelander HSC TD4, registered in September 2011. 2.2 diesel staying white, full franchise history, MOT until August next year, mid-August. So, taking a closer look, basically your usual stone chips, as you can see. Um, we'll scan underneath so you can have a good look at that. No major damage to be honest, but you've got quite a few stone chips just knocking about as you can see in the front there. Uh, grill and headlights are in perfect nick, but you have got some water on the inside. Some condensation appearing on the inside of that headlight. Scanning over the bonnet, no issues at all. Windscreen's got a surface chip on it. Chip right there. Uh, some roof and the roof's all good though. So Panning over this front arch here. Panning over. You just got a scuff there. Light scuff. Well, sorry, it's quite rough actually because it's taking away the paint. And uh, that's about it. This alloy here, it's got some curb damage there, as you can see on the edges there. And you've got five, over five mil on that one. Panning down the uh, near side, I think I can see a slight little ding. Get to it. Mirror housing's got some paint being peeled, come off there. Bit of a major chip there. And that's about it. Um, winds, uh, windows are all good. Privacy to the rear. This door edge is fine. However, if we look down on the sill there, come to a scuff. Uh, it's quite deep, it's taking away the paint, as you can see. But that's about it. I mean, that door edge is fine. Daniel's got some paint peeling in two spots. Um, some chips. But that's about it. It's clean otherwise. Same issue with that uh, rear door there. Door ridge is fine, but you've got some paint peeling on the handle there. Now, coming, I think, I can't really see it from here, but I think there's a slight little ding there. It's marked it. Hopefully you can see it. So, moving along to this alloy. This alloy is pretty decent, except for the corrosion there. And you've got just over three mil, 3.3 .3 on that one. Coming on this arch here, you've got a, uh, some paint peeling and a, and a light scuff. Moving along to the rear, we'll scan underneath because there is quite a bit. These are all quite deep. All of them little scuffs that are taking away the paint, quite deep. You've also missing the cover there for that. Also got another little mark out the paintwork there. But that's about it. I mean, the uh, windows all good. It's just a shame about the rear tailgate there. So moving along, moving along to over this arch. It's all good. No issues. Windows are all good. Scanning over this alloy. Seems a decent, Nick. To be honest, just got some couple of scratches here and there. And you've got the uh, 3.2 on that one. Panning down the. Um, Offside, I can see quite of a large thing on the driver's door there. We'll get to that. So this door edge is fine. Looking under the sill, there's a couple of marks there. Nothing major. This door edge is fine. This door panel's fine. This door's fine, but you've got quite a long thing here. A bit of a crease there. Hopefully you can see it. So you've got a long crease there. Panning over this arch here, no issues. Um, this alloy again is all good, except for the middle cap. And you've got um, formula on that one. So that's it for the exterior. No problems with that door card, really clean. Um, looking on the inside, really well kept in here. Can't see any problems. So it's hanging, but I will say, there is a bit of a funny smell coming from this car. So I will warn you on that. Back of the seats, all good. No problems with that door card, really clean. Again, looking down here, really highly maintained car this. Jumping inside. Same issue with uh, that door card, this door, really, really clean. Seats are all good. Scanning over the uh, steering wheel. So we've got satellite navigation. Scanning down the central console unit, heated seats, I mean, there's hardly a scratch in here. Really highly maintained car. So there you have it guys, 